Today, we're making one of the world's most famous food items, tacos! It's a taco party! <laughs> it all starts with this incredibly savory, delicious ground beef filling. And of course, we have to fry up our own corn tortillas. Of course. <laughs> and then we're going to top them with all those classic Tex-Mex toppings. Oh, I tell you, every bite is taco perfection. Oh, oh dear. Wow. <laughs> now that's a crunch. Just that in case you were wondering, we're doing crispy, crunchy <laughs> tacos today. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My crispy, crunchy loon. Yes, crunchy, crunchy. And crispy. Yeah. So anyway, let's start making this filling. OK, right. I've got a cup of chopped onion here, and I've got uh, about a tablespoon of olive oil in there and we are going to cook these until they get nice and soft I about love it. just a few minutes. The, Chris and your and his taco seasoning and his taco meat the whole shebang <laughs> Is amazing. It sort of was the catalyst for how to feed and learn. I mean, kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was back one of those. I'd feed it to him, and he'd say, "I want more of that, please." <laughs> totally. I grew up on tacos. Yes, you did. Uh, being a Texan. Yes. Um, all right, so we're gonna fry our own tortillas. I've got uh, oil heated up here to 350. Uh, it's just vegetable oil, and I've got. Look at these. Isn't that fun? It's my. Um, Taco clamp. Taco holder. <laughs> so we got a link to that. They're so they're cheap and they're fun. You can you could also do this in just a skillet with some oil. Just I've done it before with a just get a couple of forks and you put that in there and it starts to get a little stiff and then you fold it over. Yeah. But this is so nifty. Look at that. All right, and all I do is just lower it down in here and let it fry. Fry, baby, fry. Yeah. And I'm and and also, so I, the Corn tortillas that you get at the store, they're perfectly fine. I, I fried with them all the time. They're a, a little on the thin side, so you got to be careful with them. They they may want to shatter a yeah. little bit. We got uh, some thick ones. I go to so I there's a, a Hispanic market not too far from where we live. They have homemade, um, incredibly wonderful uh, corn tortillas, and these have just a little more girth to them. Yeah, so, so they hold they fry a lot up more. perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is, which we love. And talking about uh, holding a lot more. How many tacos oh, do you have? You? I'm oh I'm talking and frying at the same time. <laughs> We have like 18,000 taco recipes, I Not swear. Not 18,000, yeah. but we, as you, we love tacos. We have our Mahi Mahi tacos, oh. which is one of our most popular totally. recipes on the blog. Yep. We have carnitas tacos. We have Baja fish tacos, which oh. I absolutely love. So love it. And, and the kimchi. You would use a, like a, oh yeah, a, a Korean beef. beef. Kimchi, yeah, it's kind of a fusion. Yay, anyway, that's the best. I got to say, though, my favorite is what we're doing yeah. right now. Little These Tex Mex are, beef. I have, I have been a, a taco nut since I was like this big. I just, they're, they're my favorite thing. When I would go to a Mexican restaurant when we were, when I was young, I'd always get the taco platter. That's every time what I would order. How's it coming over This there? is great. So I usually keep it in here like a minute, 15 seconds. Uh, or you see how the bubbles now are kind of dying down. Yes. That's kind of like the cue That's for you. That's when you know your you're Your cue to take it out. So what you want, I'm, I'm right here, I'm adding three cloves of minced garlic to the party. All right. I'm just going to cook this till it gets aromatic. And uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to put it over here on my paper towel and let it drip dry. So, you know, get yourself an extra tortilla or two and practice because Look at you that. don't, that looks perfect. And he's gotten really good at yeah, doing I'm this. Yeah, I'm a really good fryer. He is a good fryer. It's called uh, me a fry daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you don't want to underdo them because then they're too chewy. And if you overdo them, they're so brittle, they completely fall apart. Okay. So, all right. So now that's, so you're going to keep on frying. Yeah, I want to keep on frying. Keep on frying, baby. Let's check okay. them. I put my timer on my watch so I don't um, <laughs> ruin them. Yeah, please don't ruin them. <laughs> so now we've got a pound of ground beef. Just good. I use like 85% lean. Um, just because it's got a little extra flavor. I'm going to drain off the rendered grease here uh, once it's fully cooked. But we're going to cook these, um, in, or cook this, until it's no longer pink. Okay. <laughs> we're we, just working. We are making tacos. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to season this meat up. It's going to be so deep. It's going to be so much better than that packet stuff you yes. get. This is a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. I'm going to do two teaspoons of your favorite chili powder. I've got a teaspoon of ground cumin. The flavor is just Oh, y'all. A teaspoon of smoked paprika, or you could do just regular paprika, but I think smoke is really great. Then I've got a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. 
And then we've got a teaspoon of Mexican oregano. Um, if you can't find Mexican oregano, just use regular oregano. And then for just a little bit of kick, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. And that's going to kind of just sort of act as a thickener um, when we yes. add some little liquid. I know. The smell is all. You just put everything in but in the, the kitchen sink. I know. I know. <laughs> it's all it's all stuff, you know, that you use all the time. Yeah. Not exotic spices. Um, okay. Oh, that's put more liquid in there? Yes, that's what I said. I want to get the spices oh, on the right. meat yes. first. I'm like, wait a minute, that it looks would be really kind of, dry. No, that, and that's the problem with a lot of people's taco meat is it is, it's dry. You don't want dry taco meat. No. So we've got, this right here is called Rotel. Right in the front of um, it. Right there, it's, Right there. It's diced uh, <laughs> tomatoes and green chilies. It's pretty much easy to find all over North America nowadays. If you can't find it, I've got a link to it online. Um, but you can just, they, a lot of brands now sell chopped tomatoes with green chilies. That's what it is. They're just tomatoes with green chilies. <clears throat> Excuse me. I use half a can. Um, but it, like I said, if you can't find it, see if you can find another brand. Or just, or just put in some chopped ch uh, tomatoes. You're fine. So good. This is a cup of beef broth. Good old beef broth. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So now we're going to let this simmer until it just c cooks down. And uh, again, we don't want to dry it out, but we want most of that liquid to sort of um, get absorbed. And it's going to get thicker, too. It will get a little thicker, Just a, yes. really quick, I wanted to let everybody know, I don't clamp this, uh, this um, taco holder all the way down, the shell holder all the way down, because I don't want my taco shell to break. It could. Yeah, yeah. it's easy to like, if you clamp it too hard, it'll go snap. Yeah. Okay. All We're right. Cooking along. Oh, that's gorgeous. Taco shells yeah. and taco, taco meat. Taco shells and taco meat. That's all you need in life. <laughs> what, do, what do we say? All you need is love <laughs> and tacos. And that may not even be in the right order. <laughs> anyway, so now look at this meat. I did see what I was talking about. You wanted to, that most of that liquid to, to cook down, um, but so it's good. still very moist. And that's, I, that's, um, that's a key. That's a key yeah. factor to really yes. delicious, super good tacos. All okay. right. So now, and then you see we've got these fun little taco holders. I've got a link to that. Yay. They're super inexpensive. Of course, you don't have to have them. But what I like to do um, is I've got my oven preheated to 275 degrees, just kind of a tell low me, heat. Tell me how much I should Oh, well, you know, like as scoops. all. Yes, I'd say like a quarter cup. I mean, you know. Like that. That's yeah, good. That's good. That's, Ooh, a, that's yeah, a pretty that's stuffed good. taco. <laughs> uh, but that's the way we roll. And. Um, Anyway, what I was saying is that these, these, the way Wesley does them, they're perfect, but they come t sometimes can be a little brittle. Yeah. Um, so if you fill them, and you don't have to have these stands, it just makes it a little easier. And then put them in a low uh, temperature oven for like 10 minutes. It just kind of softens it up a yours. little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm course. going back to yours to put a little more in Okay, there. I guess uh, we are feeding the loon. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, and go. then the, yeah, the, so they the, get, so the, the meat kind of softens it a little bit. Just a little softens bit. Softens it yeah. a little. And so they're still crunchy, but they stay together. They do. All right. It's almost taco time. <laughs> it's what I've been waiting for. It's taco time. I mean, this is <laughs> the highlight of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those are great. They really do. So they, they don't get like Yay! scorching hot. Now, the only thing that, that's a little tricky, if you do this little tip that we did, these things are a little warm, so I just use a couple of little Perfect. napkins. Y'all! And they're fun. And we got all our fiesta wear, too. A fiesta <laughs> plates, yes, yes, yes. We gotta be festive. Yes. Okay, so now, you know, a taco is nothing without its toppings, at least that's the way I believe. Let me make sure everybody can see your yeah. tacos, too. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, you know, you wanna make sure you've got plenty of uh, shredded cheddar. Cheese. It's good. Cheese is super important. We like to put the cheese on first. I do at least, yeah. because it melts it a little well, bit. Well, and you know what you can, what I do a lot of times too, I didn't want to make, because it can get a little messy. <laughs> I put the cheese on before I put it in the oven, oh, so it does yes. get good and melty. Oh, I forget. But oh, this, you, do, you do that sometimes when you buy the store-bought shells Yes, too. yes. I, the, those store-bought shells, like when I was younger, and mom, who's a, my mom, who's an amazing cook, she really is. She, I got my passion for cooking a lot from her and my dad. But we, in the early days, when, you know, when they start, first started having those, taco shells that you could buy. This packaged. is lettuce, by the way. Lettuce. That was packaged taco <laughs> shells. She wouldn't heat them up, and she would just have like ground <laughs> hamburger, and then literally you'd take a bite into them, and they just like shatter into like, well, I guess I'm gonna have I a taco salad now. Y'all, look at how gorgeous these tacos and then, so, are. So that was lettuce and tomato. I just love to put salsa on my tacos. I'm a salsa Me too. nut. Yes, you are. Hold on, you got some? Oh, look at it, and All they're right. so 
pretty and fun. I mean, a taco, is there anything more fun than a taco party? No, no, maybe, no. Maybe a taco and enchilada party. <laughs> totally. Okay. Oh, Here, wow, I'm just gonna, really I know, look, I'm gonna put this just on this one. And okay. Then that's all I'm, uh, well, that's all I'll eat on camera. At the moment, yes. <laughs> These will be gone in Yay, a matter of all right, you guys, look at that. Oh, so Here crunchy, go. I can already tell. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. See, my uh, parents, I mean, they, they stayed together. They stayed together. Oh. And did you hear that crunch? I think they heard it in outer space. Uh. <laughs> so good. You guys. You guys, there's nothing better than homemade oh, tacos. Oh, I'm going in again. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm getting messy. Isn't that meat, Trump? To make them. This is just a fun meal. And it's made even better when everything's homemade. I know. It's about to be Cinco de Mayo, and this is on the menu for sure. Yeah. And this is 100,000% Luna Proof. Yeah. Anything Tex Mex in this house is 100,000% oh, so Luna Proof. Oh. You can't believe in the difference in when you fry your own uh, tortillas. It's just so it's good, you incredible. guys. I've got it all over my face. I know, and that's what makes it so much fun. Oh. We love you. It's. Hey, we hope you're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Celebrate anything and make oh, some tacos. Who cares? Just Yay. make tacos. Crunchy, right. crunchy, 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 crunchy. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we love you.